Hello everyone, my name is Alan, I'm from Sober Lab, and today I will be showing how to install the first Docker container. I will go for some basic how to set up the portrait, as well how to run a Docker run. In this video will be a Docker run. Uh, why it's my first video from showing the Docker uh, Crusader? Crusade is a good file management. And uh, if you are developing and or you are install anything in your NAS, it's good to know how to manage it. And you have two options or a few options, but you have uh, basically two options. First, use the prompt command and that you put ls slash a and that you see all the files that you have in that folder. And that with CD, you can enter in the folder or create a new folders and navigate it. It's a little bit more complicated or you can do all the same activities in a web interface where it's easy for you, principally if you are not so good with uh, these commands, Linux command. So it's interesting to know this application. As well, with this application, you can set some password. Therefore, you need to have the password to access the Crusader. It's something interesting. So you can access externally from your network. In the future video, we'll show how to do it. Anyway, if you like this idea and want to know a little bit more, we're gonna show it. But first, you need to leave your like. In the end of the video, if you change your mind, you can take out your like, put dislike. But if you already put your like and forget, better for me. Subscribe for the channel, leave your comments, and let's see how to do it. First thing that normally I do is entering the official website where I can show a little bit more for the program and explain some information that interesting before we start to go through the installation. Have this one in mind, first thing we're gonna enter in the website and here they were already tell that it's a twin panel file management for desktop, okay? It's uh, two panels that you have and it's a file management as the name say. As well, you have some pictures that you can go to the application. You have the both sides, left and right. You can have different folders for each side. So you can drag one file from this file to the another one and vice versa. You have uh, some application as synchronized for some website or use as a FTP. As well, you can see what you're using the application, how much the space of your computer is using and that's it. In the website, they give a quick information what you can do in the program. Have this one in mind. Before we start to do go any installation, we need to open our portrait. Don't worry, we're gonna set the portrait. First thing you need to look in with your IP of your Open Media Val. In my case, it's already open the web page for the Open Media Val. I have, I'm using the IP 192.168.1.152. Have this one in mind. Now you need to do put the two dots and the door 9000. So I already did it. The first time that you open the portrait, they open this option where you need to set up the, your portrait user. It's really simple. First, you need to decide which user that you're gonna use. In my case, I will leave as admin. I suggest you to change it for any, any other user that you want to use. And then we're gonna do the password. I suggest you to use a, a strong password. Otherwise, anyone that have access from your network can open portrait, log in and do anything in the portrait. So let's put our password and put create a user. Now we need to decide what connection that they will do. If you're using Kubernetes, it's here. If you use Agent, it's here. But in our case, we're using Docker. So we're gonna in Docker and put as a connect. This procedure will happen only the first time. After this one, you only log in with the user that you create. So remember the username and the password. Otherwise, you'll not be able to access anything. In the portrait, for you open local portrait, you need to click here in the portrait, and they already appear how many containers that you have, how many volumes that you have, the network connections that you have, and the images that you download. In my case, it's the first time that I'm using the portrait and this Docker it's, has been just installed. So only container that we have available, it's the container portrait. If you look here, all the parts that you can have, but in order to click in these doors, you need to edit your ending point. To do it, you only go in ending point, you put local. Now you put the ending point for your server. 
that's your IP from your server, that will be 192.168.1.152, the same IP that I'm using for my server. And I put as update and endpoint. Have update this and endpoint, we're gonna pack in container, and now we're gonna start to install our Crusader. The image that we're gonna install for Crusader will be this image, that it's Crusader image. This image has been updated 10 days ago, so it's a quite live image and has been pulled more than 10 million times. So it's used quite often, so you can avoid lots of issues. Don't have the information which platform that will work, so I presume that will work in 6486 bits. I don't know if you're gonna work in a ARM system, so if you have a Raspberry Pi or any other program that have ARM system, I'm not sure if you're gonna work. But if you work, leave your comment that you can help other people that will want to install the same program and that can avoid to try and not work. Here in the website, they suggest you to install using the Docker Run, so you have the usage and an example of the Docker Run. Have any other information? No. So what we can do is come here and copy this example of the Docker run and start to edit it. To modify all the information that we need, we're going to open the Notepad++. Here in the Notepad++, we're going to paste all the information that we have, and now we can start to modify this information. First thing that we're going to look is the port that they are suggesting. They say that we'll use the port 5900 and, and the port 6080. If your NAS have any program that using the same ports, so I suggest you to change, otherwise you can use the same. In my case, it's the first application that I'm installing my portrait, so will not have conflict with any other program. So I will leave it the same way. The name that we are using for this container is Crusader, and the privilege that we are using is true. If you put false and remove this information, they will not work as intended, they will not work as a file management because they will not have access for all the information for your NAS. So I strongly suggest you leave as a true. Now we have the volumes that we can edit. The first volume will be the configuration and the second one will be local time. So we're gonna start to modify the configuration. I want to install this crusader in the folder docker pp that we create during the installation for OpenMediaVal. To do it, we're gonna open our OpenMediaVal again. In our OpenMediaVal, we go to storage and click in share folders. Here I have two share folders that I create. First one is Docker app and the second one is home. Here in the Docker app, I go and copy this information. Now I can go back for my Notepad++ and modify it, really easy. I only modify here this information and leave Crusader. In this way, they will create a folder called Crusader and inside this folder, they will start to install all the information for Crusader. Now I have the second volume. I want to create the third volume. What's this third volume? If I come back for my open media file, I want to have access for the folder home. So I will need to copy this absolute path and come here back, create a new space. I put volume that I want. I pass my absolute path, two dots, and pass again the same absolute path. So if I need to locate this file, I will go to SRV, desk by leave, home, pain, media file six, home, blah, 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 home, and slash home. So this way I can have access for my phone. Then I give a space and finish this command line. Now we finish all the volumes that we need to define, so now we can start to edit our environmental. The first environment that I will suggest is the temp folder equal slash config crusader temp. We don't need to modify it. The second one will be web page title. Here you can define any title that you want to put in your web page. You can put, you can customize for specific for your home. Look like omv6 or any title that you want. Let's leave as a om6, no problem at all. Now it's a VCN password. Now is the time that you need to define what password that you want to define for your Crusader. In my case, I will leave only as a password because it's easy. Otherwise, you can modify the password for any name that you want. 
this password you need to remember in order to access the Crusader. Otherwise, you'll not be able to access it and you can always look in your container and remember it anyway. Now, you you mask will be 22, that is the standard you mask, and PUAT and PJT. Okay, I didn't show yet how to discover your PUAT or PJT. To do it, we're gonna need to open our putty. You can use the CMD, but I prefer to use putty. So I will go 192.168.1.152 and I enter. First time that you're gonna access your NAS with the SSH, they will give this information that is not registered. It's totally fine. You can go and click yes. Now we're gonna ac access our NAS. To do it, we're gonna log in with root and we're gonna use the same password that you defined before in your installation of OpenMediaFile. Now we need to put ID and user that you create. In my case, I already create CyberLab, so it's ID, CyberLab, and we go to run this program. Here they already appear that my UID is 1000 and my JID is 100, and my group ID is 100 as well. So we're gonna use this UID as a PJID and this 100 as GID. Now we can minimize this screen and we can modify our PUID and PJD. 1000 and 100. Okay, really simple. We finish you to define our Docker run. So we can copy this information for our Docker run, open again our putty, and we can paste this information that we run and put enter. So they didn't locate the image and then for they will start to download the image and do the installation. So we needed to wait some minutes until they finish the installation. Show this information means that the Docker run finished and now we can check if all the installation run with success. To do it, we're gonna open our portrait again. In our portrait, we're gonna refresh the page and now we already have the Crusader. So we can open our Crusader and come here in log. And we can check the start since everything is alright. So we can try to see if it's work our Crusader. To do it, we're gonna click in container again. So we have two parts that we need to decide. To check which one that we need to go, we're gonna open again the image for the Crusader. And here they already say that the page that we need to access is the port 6080/vnc.html. So we need to locate this file. We go back in our portrait and click in this page. Here they already appear the file vnc.html, the same one that they suggest us to open, and we open here. So it's working our Crusader. So since that it's work our Crusader, so we can click in connect. Now they ask you to add the password. We're gonna add the password and put send password. And it's okay, it's working. First time that you log in, they will say welcome to crusader we say yes they tell about some tools that it's already enable or disable as a standard we're not going to modify anything in this stage so we're going to go okay and now you can modify some information but i don't want to do it so i will go close now we have our crusader open if we maximize this page we have the twin pages if I come here and return, return, I can uh, browser for all my files and I can go to my SRV where I told before that I can access my information for the folder home. So I can go SRV. I have a few folders, FTP, HTTP, but I want disk by label home and that I go home and here I have all my files. In this case, I don't have anything, but you could have the file format, it's a bitfs and I have nine gigabytes of data. So I can come back now and I can access few others folders. Remember, here it's have a quick overview what options that you can do. If I want to rename some file, I'll put, I click F2. If I want to view some file, I press F3. If I want to edit some file, I press F4 and continue on. As well, you can copy some information for this side to this side and you can browse all the information that you have. So it's one option that you can use 
to do all your file management for your NAS. You don't need to only to do by the command, prompt command. Okay, we installed the first program at the Docker. I hope that everyone enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave your like. If you didn't like and think that you need to improve or basically don't like, you leave your dislike, but try to avoid only if it's really necessary, you know. Subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.